Today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration on how to calibrate your USM5 indicator. Before we start with calibration, you first want to make sure that you have some known weights in order to calibrate your scale. For this demonstration, we're going to use 100 pounds of known weights. And what we typically recommend is using at least 10% of the max capacity in calibration weights. So with this 5,000 pound scale, the correct way to do it would be to use 500 pounds of known weights. But to keep it simple, we're just going to go ahead and uh, calibrate with 100 pounds to show you how to do this. Now, before we start with the calibration, you'll notice here there's different buttons where they have arrows underneath left, right, down, up, print is enter. So these are going to be the different buttons that we'll press in order to do the calibration procedure. So we're going to first start by turning this on. Now a quick note is that this scale system can be set up with multiple weighing pads. It's normally used with like our truck scales, uh, with wheel pad scales. And you'll see that you can connect up to two, three, or four simultaneously at the same time. So in order to go ahead and calibrate, we're first going to hit the switch and the print button. So this is gonna take us to F1, and we're gonna go ahead and hit the print button. Now this is going to show, tell the display to show how many pads we have connected here. So right now we just have one, but if you had a two pad system, you would want the display to be able to show you two pads at the same time. You would switch that to two by hitting this, the store button. Or you could do three if you have an aircraft scale and you want to have three. Or you could do four if you had our four pad system. So for this demo, we're going to go ahead and just leave it at one and we're going to hit print. Now this is going to be the unit of measurement that we calibrate in. So if you hit the zero button, you can switch it to zero and that would be to calibrate this system in kilograms or by hitting the store button by going up, you can change it to pounds and we're going to calibrate in pounds and press the print to confirm. Now this is going to be the number of decimal places that we'd like to choose. So with normally with this scale system, you won't have any decimal places, but again, this can be hooked up to custom systems like a floor scale where you may want to have one decimal place, two, three, or four. But with this system, it will normally be set up with truck scales and you'll leave it at whole pound increments and you'll press print to confirm. Now this is going to be the number of divisions that the scale would be set in. So if we wanted to have one pound increments, one, two, three, four, five, two pound increments would be two, four, six, eight, five pound increments would be five, 10, 15, 20. And then you get the idea as far as the other ones go. So with this demo, we're just going to leave it in one pound increments and we're going to go ahead and press print. Now full zero, we're going to change this to the number one and we're going to press print. This is where we're going to be able to select our capacity of the scale. So if you have, you know, wheel pad scales, they can be a 10,000 pound or a 20,000 pound or higher, depending on what set you have purchased. Our floor scale that we're using here for this demonstration is a 5,000 pound. So we're going to just go ahead and leave that at 5,000. But again, if you do want to change it, you'd use this unit button to switch over to the left and you can go up or down in value. So I'm going to set it back to 5,000. I'm going to hit print to confirm. Now we're, com now we're complete with the F1 parameter setting and we're going to go up to F2. Now this is going to be where we want to calibrate each port to the pad that it's connected to. So this would be for port one, this would be port two, three would be here and four would be here. So we have to calibrate each one at a time. So we only have one. We're going to go ahead and press print to confirm. Now this is going to be our zero point calibration. And before we proceed, you want to make sure that your platform is empty, that the scale, there's nothing on the scale at all. If it is, then we're going to go ahead and proceed to the next step by pressing the zero button, change it to the number one and hit print. All right, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and hit store. And then we're going to go ahead and hit print. Now, this is we're going to be where we're going to go ahead and enter in our known weight, which would be a thousand pounds, which it's already showing. I'm going to go ahead and load those onto the scale. All right, now that that's added, if you had more weight, you can use the unit button again to toggle to the left and then your store button to go up and by to change it to 500. But for this demo, we're using 100, so we'll switch it back to 100, and then we're going to press print to confirm. 
Now, once that's complete, you've just calibrated this first single port. So if you add another pad or a third or a fourth, you would just follow that pr same procedure. So to give you a demo, we would hit print. We've already done scale one. Now we're gonna do scale two. We're gonna hit print. Then we're gonna do our zero point calibration. That would be nothing on the platform. Then we're gonna go to span. We're gonna hit one, press print to confirm. This is where we're gonna enter in our known weight again. So if we're using 100 pounds, we would change this to 100 pounds. Right? Then we load those weights onto the scale, then we'd hit print. And then we would be done with pad two. Then we would proceed with pad three doing the same thing and pad four. And then after that, we would be complete. So once you're complete with all your different pads, it'll take you back to F2. Now to exit the parameter setting, we're gonna hit this check button that has the up arrow to go back and exit the parameter settings. If you've done the calibration cor correct, you can go ahead and test by placing your known weights on each one and it should show you your known weight. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions on going through the calibration procedure, would like to speak with the technician over the phone going through this, we'd be happy to help you. Our direct line is 800-711-2237 or you can email us sales at usamesurements.com. Thank you for watching.